Good evening, everyone, or good afternoon, everyone. I know everyone is devastated as I am about the fire here at the Broad Street Market. I just want to take an opportunity before I speak and acknowledge our guests here. Of course, we have the Honorable Governor Shapiro, Josh Shapiro. <laughs> Representative Patty Kim. <laughs> Representative Dave Matson. <laughs> Representative Justin Fleming. <laughs> Senator Fetterman has a representative here. Senator Casey as well. <laughs> Council President Danielle Bowers. <laughs> and representatives from the Central Pennsylvania Building Trades. Yeah. And representatives from Capital Region Water. So thank you everyone for coming today. Yes, let's talk about the Harrisburg Fire Department. My guys, they did an awesome job here last night. Overnight, the heart of our community was taken from us. A fire tore through the brick building of the Broad Street Market with such force and relentlessness taking with it, the livelihoods of dozens of our business owners and the primary source of well-being for so much of our community, which is our residents. But the Broad Street Market is so much more than just a place where you buy and sell food. It is quite literally the primary symbol of Harrisburg. When those lights shine down Burbick Street it is a welcome sign. Harrisburg is open for business. And the main hub is the Broad Street Market. For more than 160 years, the Broad Street Market has been our community hangout. It is the community's place to break bread, meet with neighbors and friends, and catch up on what's happening in our lives. The Broad Street Market is home to everyone. It is the oldest continuously operated market house in the United States. And hear me when I say, as strongly as possible, today is not the end of the Broad Street Market. Right. <clears throat> we will rebuild it. We will rebuild the building. And we will rebuild its business. Make no mistake, this will take time and, of course, tears. But the end result will be worth it. The Broad Street Market will be back and better than ever before. And now I want to introduce our chief, fire chief, department chief, fire chief, <laughs> and our line. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Good afternoon. Of course, I'm here bearing bad news about the uh, tragedy that happened overnight here at the Broad Street Market. The building you see behind us can be and will be rebuilt. And what I'm proud to say, the gentlemen that are with us, the members of the Harrisburg Bureau of Fire did one tremendous job keeping the remaining roof and the remaining businesses nearly unaffected in the other side of the building. It was that dedication last night that we're most proud of here in Harrisburg, and we'll continue to do that. We, uh, we also need to shout out to our mutual aid partners that came from across central Pennsylvania uh, because no matter what the staffing and how many fire trucks we have here, this was an overwhelming fire for nearly any municipality. We had uh, 10 engine companies, eight ladder companies, five rescue companies, and for the first time in Harrisburg history, we actually used a drone to assist in the firefight that came from the Hershey Fire Department. I also want to give a shout out to the dispatchers at Dolphin County Communications. They're often so overlooked in the job that they do behind that microphone, giving us the directions of what's going on. It was their quick actions last night that upgraded this immediately to a first alarm, putting all the city units and our mutual aid partners in route 
prior to the arrival of any of our fire bureau fire apparatus. Obviously our fire station is just up the street. By the time we arrived, the very first rig had fire through the roof of the building. Uh, it was, they knew it was a devastating fire. We weren't gonna go in right away. The, uh, the squad company from Allison Hill and, and wagon company from Allison Hill did a tremendous job uh, doing a yeoman's job, pushing into the base of the building where many firefighters would have neglected to go in. And our firefighters did a great job doing that. Uh, we will talk more about that. We'll look at the, the devastation uh, here in a little bit. Uh, the, uh, the last note I wanna end on, uh, we were able to come to a conclusion of the fire today. Uh, and I was telling some earlier, I was, uh, when I went home this morning for about 45 minutes, I thought we are never gonna figure out what started this uh, because of the devastation that was behind us. But the great work of Detective John Fustini uh, and my three deputy fire chief, uh, Souter, Satizan, and Wise, uh, we got in there this morning and uh, started digging around into destruction and found that the uh, cause of the fire, 100%, was a large ceiling fan that was installed in 2017 uh, here in the Broad Street Market. There was an electrical malfunction. That is not our responsibility to figure out what that is. The insurance company will take care of that. But uh, this was an accidental fire. I know that there was a lot of uh, scuttlebutt that it may have been intentionally set. 100% was an electrical fire uh, in that uh, ceiling fan fixture. Um, and uh, with that, I'm going to introduce Denise Hill from the Department of Building and Housing Development. Good afternoon. The magnitude of this devastating loss and the economic impact this has cannot be understated. The Broad Street Market has a longstanding history of being a staple in this community and meeting a great need. During the Civil War, farmers fed Union soldiers located at Camp Curtin. Most recently, the single remaining produce vendor in the brick building was the primary source of fresh fruits and vegetables in this area. We know that sections of the city of Harrisburg are a food desert. This is a resource that has met the need of this community that is absolutely critical. To the Broad Street Market vendors, staff, customers, and city at large, there are many partners working collaboratively to restore what has been lost and get back open as quickly as possible. We will be working on having comparable accommodations so that vendors can go back to supporting their families and making a livelihood and customers can have an indoor space to shop and congregate while this building is restored. Many stories of how these businesses and those all over the city come from what once looked like loss, from the rubble of what was or the thought of what could be, resilient business owners emerged. It will take that resilience and support of this community to not only rebuild this building, but also help these businesses to come back even stronger than before. We stand with you during this incredibly difficult time. Good afternoon. My name is Patty Kim, the state representative for the 103rd District, Dauphin and Cumberland Counties. The overwhelming outpour of grief and sadness and the uh, reminiscing of the memories in this building behind me made me want to lean in hard for this project. In a world that we're so polarized with politics and people beating up on each other, when you're in this building, you see the mayor of Broad Street Market. We talk about which food is best. We look at the plants and we go shopping. It is a place where we can come together, a diverse group of people to come together and feel like we're part of a community. And it's, it's a little bit broken right now. I wanna thank the fire chief and his amazing team and the surrounding departments for coming out here and saving most of this, of this uh, beautiful building. I wanna thank Representative Fleming and Representative Madsen who we talked early this morning to figure out how we can coordinate and make sure that we bring this building better and stronger. Folks, this community is beautiful. Do not underestimate the city of Harrisburg, because we will do great things, I promise you. I'm especially proud of one of my newest constituents. I call him Josh, <laughs> Governor Josh Shapiro. I am so grateful that he's living in our city, folks, and he cares about what goes on in our city. Can we give a applause for that? I reached out today and he responded quickly and said, what can we do to help? We're gonna help. 
And so I want to bring him up here to talk about um, his plans. But I am so grateful because I know that Governor Shapiro, if he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it and he's going to do it right. Governor Shapiro, welcome. I want to thank um, my state representative. I, I also want you to know the abuse that I suffer from her because when I walk through the neighborhood, she gives me a hard time for wearing my shorts, walking through the neighborhood, telling me I look all silly out there. But my family and I have been um, proud to be new neighbors here of all of you. And we love this community. And we've got our routines that we're developing. We take our walk, we come in here, I tell the kids get a smoothie or something healthy, that's where I always go, and they end up with candy somehow, and chocolate and other treats. And I'm pleased that I can tell them that in the midst of this destruction here that I know tugs at all of our hearts, especially all of the people here in the community, I can tell them that the mayor just said we're going to reopen and we're going to rebuild and we're going to be back stronger than ever in this historic, iconic public market. This is a place that, as the representative was saying, is not only a place where you can get great food, this is a place for great fellowship. One of the things I like is when I, when I go in here and the guys are kind of sitting there shooting the, um, you know, just whatever, <laughs> they don't get up when I come over. They don't. No, no, actually what they do is they give me a bunch of grief in a good way. And they teach me something every time I'm there. And they give me a different perspective on things. Because this is a place where no matter who you are, when you walk in, you're all the same. You're all at the same level. Everybody just treats everybody like a good old neighbor in this neighborhood. This market matters. It's mattered for more than a century. It's a gathering place. It's a great place of great fellowship. It, is a place that uh, we love and we are excited to see rebuilt. Now, we got to pick up on the great example that our firefighters set for us when they came here and ran toward danger while others walked away. They put this fire out so that we can now be in a position where we can rebuild. I want to thank first and foremost our firefighters and other first responders that did incredible work here for all of us. Appreciate you, Chief. And you're going to see government at all levels now work together to emulate the service that these firefighters demonstrated in that dangerous time. We are all now going to come together and do what's necessary to support the rebuild. Let me tell you the steps we've already taken in the governor's office. Pima, under the leadership of Randy Padfield, our director is here, is already coordinating with the Small Business Administration to see what we can do for the individual vendors to make sure they get the help and the support that they need. Second, our Department of Agriculture, under the leadership of Secretary Redding, is going to work with these vendors to figure out how we can keep them in business while the rebuild is taking place. We got a few ideas on how to do that. The Department of Agriculture is going to be engaged. Third, you can clap for Russell Redding if you want, if that's what you were doing. Third, the mayor and local government will determine what the rebuild looks like. They will come up with a cost, they will come up with a plan. And then working together with the Department of Community and Economic Development in the Commonwealth, we will do everything we can to support that with grants and loans and other funding to help make sure that their vision becomes a reality. The Commonwealth is going to be here to support and assist, not to dictate, but to support and assist. And we look forward to partnering with Mayor Williams and her administration to do that. Look, here's the last thing um, I want to say. It's been a tough day around Pennsylvania today. I just came from East Reading, where a community and a school was literally wiped out from the floodwaters there. It's just around the corner from West Reading, where over Easter, we saw a really iconic chocolate factory literally explode. People lost their lives. Today's a particularly tough day in our Commonwealth, but I'm going to say to you what I said to the good people of East Reading and what I'll repeat all across um, Pennsylvania, and that is we are all in this together. We are going to get through this together. 
We are a good, tough, sensitive people who in times that are rough, we lean on one another and we get through things together. Hell, we can repair I-95, we can rebuild this market behind us. And what I've learned about the good people of Pennsylvania is when we work together, when we believe in one another, when we lift one another up, good things can happen. Broad Street Market will be back. It'll be better than ever. And I can't wait for my next smoothie. Thanks, everybody. Mayor, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that the uh, commissioners of Dauphin County just called and said they will be here to support of the city of Harrisburg and anything that we need. And at this moment, I'm going to open up for questions, and Fire Chief Enterline will answer those. Mayor, what if anything from this building is salvageable? Is it all, all salvageable? He can answer that. I'm sorry. What is salvageable? So I'm not an engineer um, by trade, but I can tell you the building that's still standing behind us, uh, in my experience here in the city of Harrisburg, is rebuildable. The shell um, is rebuildable. Uh, and I believe they'll be able to put a new roof on there. Uh, what you see down there, the roof is going to have to come off of. Uh, while it is intact, it was burnt severely, um, so it will have to come off. But uh, I believe the architectural elements that we have will be able to be maintained through that uh, uh, development. Is there any damage to the other building? Is that building going to so, be So, yeah, I think that's an important uh, point to note. The stone building is open for business this week. The stone building was not affected, and the stone building will be the backbone here at the Broad Street Market uh, for the coming months. Do you know if there were sprinklers? Uh, this building was not sprinklered. However, I can tell you this with certainty, the new building, the new construction will be protected with a fire sprinkler system, 100%. <laughs> sure. Uh, we we were supported by stand holders that had some video inside that helped us narrow down that area of origin. Uh, it was as we uh, looked through that area of origin. Again, it was uh, the the deputy chiefs, Detective Fustini, myself. Uh, we got it narrowed down to where we believe it was based upon that video that the stand holder gave us, which was so critical. Uh, to, to looking at that. Something didn't look right. Uh, we went down and actually looked at the other half of the building and said, wow, there's a fan up there. We found the remnants of that, traced it back to the breakers and everything, and that, uh, that was 100% how we came up with it. So it was a team effort uh, by both uh, our, our fire investigation team uh, and those stand holders that came forward with the video. And I believe that is it. We're gonna conclude the uh, press conference. Thank you.
embarrassing how little I know about the Purdue operations. I know Shane and Lindsay too much to have them on the show. So you're gonna get you're gonna get fired? They say. <laughs> they well, say. it's a fun first day. Yeah, seriously. Shapiro. Representing Tad Chen. It is a welcome sign. Harrisburg is open for business. And the main hub is the Akron Sports Hub in the United States. And hear me when I say, as phony as possible, today is not the end of the Broad Street Market. Thank you, Mary. Good afternoon. Of course, I'm here bearing bad news about the uh, tragedy that happened overnight here at the Broad Street Market. The building you see behind me, the last thing I want to end with is this. On the day that this happened to me, there was a meeting for the Dallas Fed. Uh, and they found some order that they <laughs> I want to thank uh, my state representative. I, I also want to know the goosebumps. Uh, that the mayor just said, we're going to reopen, and we're going to rebuild, and we're going to be back stronger than ever in this historic, iconic public 